What's up, y'all? We out here at the garage, as you can see, for what should be a really quick little video on a new weapon light I'm checking out. And as y'all can see, what we got here is another through night. Now, those of y'all who've watched my channel for a while know that I've done several through night videos on different products of theirs, weapon lights, EDC lights, and I can tell you for a fact, I use their EDC lights constantly. Their weapon lights that I've been sent are mounted on something that I've got. They're, none of them are just sitting around here, in other words. I actually use these things, and I haven't had any problems with any of them so far. But what we got here is another weapon light from them. This is their Rattel model. Now, as you can see what you get with it, you get their nice packaging as always, your instruction manual, you get a little kit with two uh, extra O-rings and a little extra charging port door, and then you get your USB-C charging cable. Now, there's a couple things I really like about this one over some of the other ones that I have. Number one is the built-in mount there. It's actually machined into the body of the light, so there's no separate mount with the round tubes that you can put and take the different lights out of. If I'm going to have a weapon mounted light, I personally prefer it to be a one use kind of deal. I don't really care about taking it out of the mount to use as an EDC or anything like that. I've got separate EDC lights for that purpose. So anyway, very nice mounting system. It's made to mount on a pick rail, obviously. You got your quick release spring loaded deal there. Really nice knurled knob to, to tighten down your clamp with. And the next thing I really like about this Rattel over a couple of the other models I have from them is the pressure pad here. It's actually a dual mode pressure pad. You got the click on click off or you got to hold for momentary and then let loose for off nice anodized aluminum body on it it's ipx8 waterproof rated and i believe a yard and a half impact resistant you've got a usb c charging port and it's positioned to make it really easy to charge this thing while you've got it mounted and i'll show you that here in a second a couple of their models the way they're situated it's really difficult to get up into the charging port if you have it mounted now obviously i've had this thing mounted already and tested and i'll roll in some footage out in the dark out here but I'm going to go ahead and put it on my uh, X95 Tabor. That's what I'm going to have this one on. So I'll show y'all how it mounts. So very easy mounting with this one. Like I said, with that built-in mount, let me take my little handy dandy cover. Those of y'all who aren't familiar with this X95, that's one of the coolest things about this. They've got, uh, it's actually got a quad rail, but you'd never know it because it's got these covers on it. So I'll leave a link to my review video on this thing. If it's those of y'all who hadn't seen it, it's a really nice bullpup. But anyway, like I said, absolutely easy to mount. I've got this thing loosened. And then as you can see, you put push it just like you're all familiar with I'm sure for a spring loaded mount put it on there and then just tighten down your knurled knob here on the top and then what I do to take up the slack on most of my tools is just wrap it around the light one or two times until I get to where I want this thing mounted up here on my top rail. And there you go, simple as that. As you can see, my pressure pad on the top, out of the way of my optic, really easy to get to with my hand there. And then once I get my nice purchase, none of these wires or anything are in my way. And then like I mentioned, with the nice placement of this charging port, you don't have to worry about struggling to get to it or anything. When you plug it in, a red light means it's charging. When it turns blue, it's fully charged. I don't think I even mentioned the lumens on this thing it's very very bright it's got 1635 lumens for the first two and a half minutes roughly and then it steps down to 500 and some for two hours straight so very very nice and bright light but let's take it out to the backyard in the dark and i'll show y'all what it looks like lit up all right out here in the backyard y'all you know the deal i got a few reflectors set up there we go got it on that right there you're looking at is 10 yards the next one right there is 25 yards and the next one out there is 50 yards I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a bright light. I really like this light. It's got a really, really nice uh, bright beam at a distance, but you got plenty of flood. If you'll see on the ground here, I'm about right there. And then my flood's all the way out making that uh, 10 yard reflector glow. So just out in the woods here, you can see a little bit of walk around. If it wasn't for the tree line, you'd be able to see this thing is going out much, much further than what it can really show here, but very, very bright light. So as you saw, it's a very bright light. I think it's a really nice one. I like the changes that they made on it. Now, I don't have big problems at all with their other models, but like the little quality of life type changes, I guess you could call it with the angle charging port, the better mount, the two mode pressure pad, all of that definitely adds to it. But if you're interested in picking one of these up, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link for it down in the video description. You can get this thing on Amazon for right under 50 bucks. But I'm noticing here on the box, if you get it from throughnight.com, it says you get 5% off. So, you know, if y'all, 
all hurting for cash, I mean, and that 5% is going to make a difference and it's something you're interested in, by all means, get it through them. I don't have an affiliate link and I don't get any kind of kickback if you get it through here. So don't let that stop you, though, from saving that 5% if it really is going to make a difference in you getting this thing and you want it. Like I said, I really appreciate y'all getting stuff through my Amazon site and getting a little very small kickback from it, but it's not going to make or break me anyway. So like I said, do what's best for y'all in the end. But if you do enjoy my videos, as always, take a second, if you would, and hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you've got your notifications turned on so you don't miss anything when I upload it. Again, if you are doing some shopping, especially during the Amazon Prime days, I think this might be the last day of it. Check out my affiliate links down below. Anything you buy after going through any of those links down there, I get a kickback from them towards the channel. So I really appreciate that. Once again, I appreciate all my Range Gang members and every single one of y'all for supporting the channel the way y'all do. I know this wasn't nothing very exciting, but starting tomorrow, which is uh, Thursday, I've got another string of good jelly tests coming. So y'all make sure you stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.